Hey, welcome to or back to my channel. Today I'm going to go over 10, in my opinion, must have things that you need as an athlete when you're playing in cold weather. I used these whenever I was playing college softball and also still to this day use all of them as a coach. And if you have not already, please take a moment to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And now let's get started. So these things are in no particular order, but I am going to just break it down as if I'm getting ready so that you kind of understand how I layer it and how I do it. Um, just because, you know, as a softball player, our uniforms aren't exactly the easiest to layer up with. It's kind of difficult because of how, how our pants fit and everything. So this is what I have found to be the best solution. So socks. I personally wear a couple of pairs of socks. So I have thick socks that I wear underneath my softball socks. I've known people to actually get the heated socks before. I'm, I don't really do that. I like the like fleece type of fill socks, some something thick, but I haven't really got into the whole heated socks, but I know people who have played with the heated socks. Um, so two pairs of socks, got socks underneath your softball socks. Then I get thermal pants. So obviously these would have to go on before you put your softball socks, but these are lifesavers like you put on your sliders, you wear thermal pants over your sliders and underneath your socks. So it's almost like you have three pairs of socks on with your calves. So thermal pants, then a thermal long sleeve shirt to go up top. I personally like the high neck, in my opinion. I just, it's warmer to me. And with this, I also get um, arm sleeves. So, arm sleeves look like this, any brand. And this is really useful for, especially like pitchers, because a lot of pitchers are known for not wanting anything tight underneath their arms or feeling like restricted in their movements. But um, arm sleeves can go underneath, or if you have the same color as your, your Under Armour, you can go on top but I would put arm sleeves underneath my Under Armour and then that adds an extra layer. And then you can go ahead and put your hoodie on top of that. Hoodies aren't always an option for different teams. Like as you get older, I know my college team, we couldn't wear hoodies during games. So to each their own there, but if hoodies are an option, this is great because it adds a couple of layers. Then have neck sleeves. So something to go around your neck, an, act, an extra added protectant there, and then fleece headbands. They're my personal fave just because, or ear warmers, just because it doesn't allow a lot of air to come through and they're thicker. So these are my favorite. Now, outside of what you are wearing, I have a couple of things that I like to use Chapstick is a must have because wind chap, that never feels good. But also it feels miserable when you're out there and your knuckles start cracking. So I like to use Aquaphor. You can use any type of lotion, but I use Aquaphor and I just take a little bit. You don't want to put it all over your hands because you don't want greasy hands whenever you're throwing the softball but I get just a little bit on my finger and then I just put it on my knuckles and just rub it into my knuckles. And then that helps your knuckles to keep from cracking throughout the day. Very useful. Another go-to is a fleece blanket, like a small lightweight fleece blanket that fits into your bat bag that you can keep in there. Um, you can personalize them. I think that they make cute gifts also. So this was actually mine from college, but this is a great must have for whenever you're in the dugout. And the last thing would be 
hand warmers or body warmers. So they have some that you can like peel and like stick on you, like place them on you. Putting it warmers on your chest and putting little hand warmers in your back pocket so that you can place your hand in your back pocket. Those are awesome too. So you can really just stick those wherever you feel comfortable. And yeah. To recap, you have one thermal long pants, two thermal long sleeve shirt, preferably with the tall neck, three arm sleeves, four a neck sleeve, five ear warmers, thermal ear warmer, six two pairs of socks, seven hand warmers or body warmers, eight aqua lotion, nine chapstick, and 10 a fleece blanket. I would love to hear your feedback, so comment below, let me know what you thought. And um, also, if you have some suggestions, please feel free to add them below as well. And if you have not already, please like and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, let's keep getting better together.